Hello, my name is Bruce Lamb, and I'm an Associate Staff Scientist in the Department of Neurosciences within the Lerner Research Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. Today, I would like to tell you about our recent paper entitled, The Regulation of Tau Pathology by the Microglial Flactrokine Receptor, to be published in Neuron. The current experiments examine the role of microglia, the primary inflammatory effector cell of the brain, on the development of a characteristic neurodegenerative disease brain pathology that occurs within neuronal cells called nerfibrillary tangles. Nerfibrillary tangles are observed in many different neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, frontal temporal dementia, as well as many others which are collectively termed tauopathies. Recently, a number of different studies have observed that tau aggregation seems to occur within neurons at the same time as microglia began to show activation within the brain. Activated microglia show shortened processes, swollen cell bodies, and increased expression of a variety of inflammatory molecules, including prostanoids, reactive oxygen species, and cytokines. However, while tau aggregation and microglial activation are correlated in time and space, up until the present study, there was no direct evidence that signaling between neurons and microglia could regulate tau pathology in vivo. Microglia are unique and fascinating myeloid cells that show up in the developing CNS very early in embryogenesis and reside permanently in the brain thereafter. My lab's been interested in fractal kind receptor, which seems involved in tailoring the microglial reaction to fit the stimulus. And when you eliminate fractal kind receptor, activated microglia have an increased propensity to damage neurons. The way that fractal kind receptor works is it receives signals from neurons which make the ligand fractal kind and then release it by atom proteases to tell the microglial cell that everything is okay with that neuron. To examine the role of CX3CR1 deficiency and tau pathology, we used H tau mouse model of tauopathy. The H tau mice um, expresses uh, human tau and it replaces endogenous mouse tau and it shows uh, age related progressive tau pathology and cognitive um, deficit. Uh, we crossed h tau mice to the CX3CR1 deficient mice to generate uh, CX3CR1 deficient h tau mice and at six months we studied the microglial activation and tau pathology uh, in, the, in the CX3CR1 deficient h tau mice. Uh, it was very evident that um, uh, the CX3CR1 deficiency in h tau enhanced tau phosphorylation as well as microglial activation um, specifically at six months. Six month old animals were subjected to cognitive assessment in the Y maze a behavioral test of spatial working memory. Once placed in the maze, animals will sequentially explore each arm, rarely going down the same one before exploring the other two. Compared to h tau mice alone and wild type controls, CX3CR1 deficient animals displayed reduced spontaneous alternation between arms. Thus, in addition to alterations in tau phosphorylation and aggregation and microglial inflammation, CX3CR1 deficiency leads to cognitive deficits in working memory in the H tau mouse model of tauopathy. And finally, to understand uh, the molecular mechanisms behind uh, how exactly the CX3CR1 deficiency in microglia enhances uh, tau pathology, uh, we turned it to neuron microglial system where we demonstrated that this uh, is actually mediated via interleukin 1 and p38 MAP kinase pathway. In summary, our study demonstrates a unique role for CX3CL1, CX3CR1 signaling between neurons and microglia in the development of tauopathies. Our current working model suggests that hyperphosphorylation and aggregation of tau within neurons normally leads to enhanced release of CX3CL1 and a downregulation of microglial activation. However, loss of CX3CL1, CX3CR1 signaling via removal of the microglial receptor leads to enhanced microglial activation, release of interleukin-1, and subsequent signaling back to neurons, leading to P38 MAP kinase activation, enhanced tau phosphorylation and aggregation, and neuronal dysfunction. Importantly, this study also suggests that targeting neuronal microglial communication and the CX3CL1, CX3CR1 pathway, in particular, may prove to be a unique therapeutic target for tauopathies, including Alzheimer's disease. My co-authors and I thank you for watching and stay tuned as we further investigate the role of CX3CR1, CX3CR1 signaling in the pathogenesis of Alzheimer's disease.